Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsomstudios.co.uk and in today's episode of my Studio One 3.5 series, we're going to be looking at some new features in what Personas lovingly refer to as the music editor. I prefer to call it the MIDI editor because it's less confusing for me personally because most of what we handle in this area here is going to be instrument-related data. So we're talking about uh, instrument tracks and MIDI data. This is where all of this is going to take place in this area. So for me, I call this the MIDI editor uh, rather than the music editor because, well, it's just confusing to me. It might not be to you, so that's okay. So without any more insane, inane babbling from me, let's get into it. A couple of very, very cool features here that we can look at. First one that's that's particularly cool is a new adjustment that personas have made to overlapping notes. So let's go and find some very, very clearly overlapping notes. And I'll show you what's very, very cool about this. Let's say here. Here's a couple of overlapping notes. They don't overlap by very much, but you know what? We can actually make them, make them overlap a little bit more. There we go. Turn the snap off. Okay, so let's say we want to adjust this. Um, we like this overlap, but we just want to adjust the timing of the second note without actually um, taking away from this this overlap. If I hold the Alt key down on a PC and then move it, look what happens to that first note. Isn't that cool? So I can adjust the timing of this second note without um, obliterating my nice little overlap. Now where this particularly comes in handy is going to be things like flams in drum programming. It's going to be really really useful because you can adjust the timing of the flam without actually changing the overlap of the note, the note on note off data. So you keep the integrity of your flam whilst actually improving its quality. You can make it a closed flam or an open flam, which is very, very cool. Uh, there you go. That's the drummer in me coming out. So that's a very, very cool feature. That's feature number one. No overlaps. Feature number two is down here in this little corner. Tucked away down here, you've got a plus and a uh, minus sign. And what this is to do with is adding or taking away automation lanes in your MIDI track. So I can add as many as I want, depending upon how many uh, parameters I have at my disposal. So in this case, I could automate modulation, I could automate pitch bend, I can automate aftertouch, which is very, very cool. So I could actually change the pitch of one of these notes, with, presumably with my paint tool. Um, something like that. I don't know how that will work, but this is this is live video, folks. Let's see if this has worked. Oh, I don't think it worked. But yeah, you can automate any of these parameters in this way, and you can have as many automation lanes open as you want. So there you go. No overlaps and automation lanes in Studio One 3.5. I hope you found this helpful. Until the next video, Bye for now.